Hey, many fish. It's the 29th of January. Today is a very high satanic ritual day. And I need to tell you something. And I need you to know that God is my witness on this. And you, ha my word is all I have. It's important that you know that what I'm telling you is the truth. It's also important that you know I don't know exactly what it means, but I have a pretty good guess. And it goes back to the foxes, okay? Now, you need to understand, I live in a pretty wooded area. Uh, there are foxes here, of course there are, but they do not come around. When there is something going on, anything at all, they are extremely elusive. I've seen one fox in seven years steal one of my chickens. That's it. Until the other day when I saw the other one right outside my shop. Okay? Which led me to the 300 foxes, Samson burning everything, so on and so forth. Right? Well, just a little while ago, <laughs> same chair, same office, right outside that window, a little further out in the woods, there's Mr. Fox again. And he's just bopping along. Not a care in the world, heading north. And I'm just looking at him thinking, what is the deal here? They they have no purpose to be here. My chickens are all pinned up. They're just, you know, there's no reason for them to be here. There's too much activity and smells and dogs and everything. They, it's just highly unusual. And then five minutes later, not even five minutes later, here comes the nether fox. And it's like the mate or whatever but same path same direction two foxes this morning okay so three foxes in three days okay you can talk to anyone who lives in an area where you know foxes are an indigenous animal and they will tell you that you just don't see them very often at all especially just casually walking through your yard when there's a wood stove burning and dogs, it's crazy. Three foxes in three days, all right? So I got to pray on this. I'm just, I'm in prayer. I'm like, Father, this, this must mean something. I can't, I can't not focus on this. It's too much. But I need to understand what you're trying to tell me here. Okay, so based on seeing the 300 foxes burning everything in judges there, I go to, uh, what happened? Oh gosh. You know, I prayed on it. And so I just kind of left it at that. And I just went about my business thinking that, like I always do, I leave it alone. If it's supposed to be something for me to show and, and tell people, he'll show it to me again. It'll come around again. And so a little bit later, I come in the office again and I'm going to open this browser here. This is the only browser I use for YouTube. I got four browsers, and this one is the only one I use. And I open it, and it it hits me right then and there. This is a Firefox browser, okay? So I got my Firefox browser. Let me get back to the uh, to the Firefox thing here, right? The Firefox browser, the fox of fire encompassing the earth, right? <laughs> and the little uh, menu thing pops down that I got a, an update, it says, right? You have an update. So I click on the Give Me More Info. And I see the logo, and I'm like, wow. And I see this number, release 5704. Perfect combo for 911. Just perfect. 5497411. And, okay, that's not enough, Father. I'm sorry. It's just, it's a lot. I understand. But, really... Um, what are you saying here? What, what am I going to be telling these people? Because what I get out of it is this fire is coming. Fire is coming. Okay? I can't, I can't really interpret it any other way. So, I guess I'm still, I'm praying on it. Okay? And the phone rings. Okay? We, this has been happening to a lot of people, but it's never happened to me. The phone rings. I don't I don't recognize the number, but I sure as heck recognize the area code. And it was 929. Okay? That's a classic 911 frontwards and backwards. 
That's what it is. Okay? And <laughs> I don't want to read out the whole number because I don't know who it is. I don't want people calling them. But there are a combination in the entirety of the number of 329s, three nine elevens, which in actuality, I won't even, I'm not going to go down the number rabbit trail, but nonetheless. And guess where 929 is? Smack diddly ding dang dab in the middle of New York City. The same place that I was just talking to you guys about yesterday, where these whack bags are going to have their, uh, didn't I just have that up here? Help me out here. Yeah. These guys right here are having their big rally at the town hall tonight. Right? All these stars. Michael Moore. Okay? And tonight is, in fact, and a commenter brought this up, but I knew this, is a very, very high ritual day. It's the St. Agnes Eve casting of spells. What are they doing? What do you think these people are doing tonight? What do you think they're all gathering in New York to do? I would guess cast a spell. In the same night, you, you, did you see the uh, Hillary Clinton little thing she did there? Let me find it for you. Where she read the book for the Grammys, her little appearance there. Well, look at what she's reading. Fire and Fury. <laughs> And what she says about Trump being poisoned or being afraid of being poisoned is a little interesting. But just the fact that she's reading Fire and Fury. So, you know, I just don't know what else to tell you guys. I get three foxes, three days, which is just off the hook. Not a normal thing, okay? I look at the Firefox download and it dawns on me that I'm looking at a fox made of fire engulfing the earth. And these crazy people are having a big giant ritual tonight. Hillary Clinton, by the way, Firefox started out as Firebird. That's their logo. They were almost named Phoenix. Yeah. But now they're just a fox made of fire engulfing the earth so you know what i mean now i can't i can't not tell you guys about this that's all i can do and you know my feeling really is is they are absolutely putting together a big ritual here tonight that's what these people are doing that's what this here is the same as this video right here Right before she starts reading this, right there, see that nine one two one. Well, I see backwards one twenty nine, and I also see nine eleven. Okay, I'm just telling you, and you add them all up, it's thirteen. So, what's going on? Big rituals. I know that this day is important for a minimum of that. That's what they are doing. And they aren't messing around. This is real. This is, this is the spiritual war that you're seeing right in front of your face manifesting in these people, in these logos, in these. But the real kicker, guys, I mean, really? Three foxes in three days? <sighs> Come on. I don't know what else to say about that. Summary. Well, big, huge ritual day today for these lunatics. It is a big ritual day. All these things going on, they're real. They're not an accident. They're very, very important. And they're telling us things that we need to pay attention to. And I believe that this is one of them. Fire is coming to this world. I mean, it's just a matter of time. If you don't see the darkness emerging around you, you better start looking because it's there. You'll never, you'll never escape it or defeat it on your own. And you don't want to join it. So seek Jesus. Okay? Please. Peace and grace to y'all. Many fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. 
put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God,